Okay, so the two holes we're gonna fix today, there's one that's in the mortar and the other one that's in the brick. There was previously something that the old owner had hung up on the wall and there was anchors in those two holes. Now they removed those anchors from the hole, just took an old worn out drill bit, sized it to anchor, doesn't need to be a hammer drill or anything. Drilled out those anchors, it broke apart, and you're able to take those pieces out. Now the next step is we're just gonna take a tube brush and run it into the holes and try and pull out any of the uh, loose debris that's still in there. So in order to get the colors right when we patch this hole, there's this set of pre-mixed colors um, that you can look up and that should get you very close. In this case, this is one of the pre-mixed colors and matching it up to the existing brick. It's pretty much a dead nuts match. So that's the one we're gonna go with. Now for the mortar itself, again, we look to the pre-mix recipes and this color right here is a right on match as well. So those won't need any adjustment from the mix recipe. And we're gonna go ahead and mix those up and fill in the holes. Okay, so what we got here to make those colors is we followed the instructions. We got the right amount of dye combination in there. And now we're gonna add just a half a cup of the mortar repair. So we're not gonna put it all in. We're gonna put, you know, just about half of it in. And then we're gonna add the water, make it a little bit extra soupy um, before adding in the rest of the mortar mix. And now one of the key things here is that we want it to be soupy at first to allow all the color to spread around, but the final product should actually be on the drier side. And the reason for that is when the cement starts to harden, the mortar repair mix starts to harden, it'll actually start to shrink a bit. So we just wanna minimize that shrinkage by leaving it a little bit dry. It'll also make it a little bit easier to handle when we're putting the mortar into the damaged hole areas. So this is the consistency that I'm talking about, kind of like a putty, definitely on the drier side than normal cement mix. But now we're gonna do is take it over to our hole and don't worry if the color doesn't match up perfect when it's still wet, as it dries out, it'll start in the lighten up and it'll match to the sample that we had previously. And the best way that I found to fill out the hole, it's again old, Allen key like this. Pick one that's sized to the hole that you're trying to fill. Take your putty knife with some mortar on it right up to the hole and just push it in with the Allen key. And you're gonna wanna leave it a little bit past flush because when we go back with our brush to add in the texture, that'll knock it back down to being flush and you won't even be able to tell that the hole was there previously. Okay, so now that we filled up the holes with our mortar repair mix and let it set for just about a minute, two minutes, we're gonna now knock it down with the brush to give it some of its texture to match the surrounding area. Okay, so now that we knocked it down with a little bit of texture, we're just gonna continue to let these sit and you can notice they're quite a bit darker than the color they're matching now. Uh, but like I said earlier, as it starts to dry out, it'll start to match pretty seamlessly and we'll check back on it after it's fully cured.